Anthem is a third-person online action RPG. Players use various exosuits known as javelins, each with different abilities and weapons. You need an internet connection to play. The player can create their freelancer outside of a javelin in the beginning, and their gender doesn't change what the javelin will look like. You can create multiple freelancers. Each player has a small hub called a strider where they can customize their javelins, abilities, gear and cosmetics. There will be saved loadouts that you can swap to while not in the javelin. There will be no loot boxes providing gameplay advantages. The microtransaction system is only for cosmetics and you will know what cosmetic you are going to receive before purchasing. There will be a premium currency that you cannot earn in game. Each cosmetic item is attainable in game if you don't want to purchase it. There will be no player versus player activities at launch. The world is a free roam space where you can explore solo or with three other people. The map opens up right away from the beginning. The beings of the world range from different mythologies to science fiction. The world has real-time events and the same day-night cycle applies to all players. There will be gameplay differences between nighttime and daytime. There are large-scale world events known as Shaper Storms where players can enter. There are fast travel points in the world. Missions are able to be started while exploring and can be joined midway by friends. If a friend joins you, the mission will be completed on their storyline as well. Enemies in the missions are balanced to all players' levels. So if someone is level 30 and their teammate is level 1, the lower level player will still provide a substantial impact to enemies. Each javelin has to be earned as the player level progresses. In the recent gameplay demo they showed a storm javelin with the character being level 1. But on Twitter executive producer Mark Dara stated that this is not possible in the game. So as your level increases more javelins will become available. Everyone starts with a ranger javelin. The subsequent javelins can be unlocked in whichever order you choose. Each javelin has one melee weapon at the moment and is specific to that suit. Javelins have to cool down as they fly, so going through waterfalls or water is one way to keep them moving in flight. Rain means that you can fly indefinitely. There will also be enemies that can knock you out of flight. If you overheat in the air and fall into water, you will dive. You can run out of oxygen while underwater. Currently, if you have max health and shield, you cannot die by dropping at the highest altitude. If you die, you can be revived or spawn at the last resupply point. There are different damage types that different abilities provide. These abilities can be combined in succession with other abilities to give bonus damage. A solar player can do these combinations by themselves. The player's health is on the top left with the shield above it. The shield is also able to recharge. Each javelin has a unique ultimate ability that is charged as damage is dealt, and some ultimates cannot be activated in the air. Loot is found around the world and is dropped by enemies, as well as ammo. Items above the common tier go back to your strider if you don't pick them up. Stronger enemies and activities that recommend a higher level and a team give better loot. There are six tiers of loot. They are common, uncommon, rare, epic, legendary, and masterwork. You can explore the world and do the story completely by yourself. There is a clan feature that has been confirmed but not fully explained. It is basically a group of players on your list to matchmake with. You can matchmake with your friends, clan mates, or even random players interested in the same activities. There is no season pass, but there will be content after launch. I probably missed a lot of stuff, but whatever, Kate, thanks, good night.